Okay, question number six, the last question of section one, and this is being brought from thermodynamics. So again, an expected zone, nothing going beyond expectation as of now. And here you see, it's a one mole of a monoatomic ideal gas undergoes a cyclic process. And the graph for this particular ideal gas has been given as the TV graph. And on the basis of this TV graph, for this one mole monoatomic gas, we need to find which options are correct. Process one is an isochoric process, not at all, because isochoric volume has to be constant, and here the volume is changing. So therefore, option number one would be ruled out. Option number B, in process two, gas absorbs heat. Well, yes, it's true, because it's an isothermal expansion. And in an isothermal expansion, the gas has to absorb heat. And if process number two absorbs heat, process number four has to release heat because that's an isothermal compression. Now, processes one and three are not isobaric. I think that's very straightforward. If you want the explanation, if you have PV equals to NRT and the process is isobaric, in other words, this is constant, means V would be directly proportional to T. So a TV graph for isobaric would be something like this, a straight line. While you could see option number one and three, the curve number one and three are not a straight line. So that must not be an isobaric process. Hence, option number D has to be correct. So for question number six, the correct options are option number B, C, and D. All right, it's now time to go to section two. Let's see. All right, with question number seven, we'll be entering into the next section, that's section number two, which has a total max of 24. And this one is, you see it says all numerical value, what generally we call as the integer-based question. But this integer is something different. You could see that the f remarkable thing is, the negative value is also allowed, and two digits after decimal. Those are the values that you'll have to put. So this time, a regular guesswork, that feature will be highly minimized. Okay, so since it was done in a CBT mode, so you can do with the virtual numeric keypad, so those all wonderful use of the technology. Now, let's see, the question number seven. It's a question from vector. Now it says, see, it's there, two vectors, A vector and B vector are defined as, the A vector is this, A i cap, and B vector is this, a cos omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. The magnitude of both are A. And omega is given as this, pi by 6. And if this equals to this, at time t equals to tau for the first time, because the function would be periodic, and we need to calculate the value of time. So let me draw the regular one. So first let me draw the regular axis here. So this is the x and the y axis. The first thing it says is there's the vector which is a vector and that's a i cap. So the a vector would be like this. That's a i cap. We'll name it. And b vector, if you see, is a cos omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. That's a b vector. So here b vector is somewhat this. And that's quite easy. Now this is a vector and this is B vector and this angle has to be omega t and yes the magnitude of both the vectors are A each. Reason? A vector has been given as straightforward A i cap and B vector is A cos omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. So you could see the magnitude effectively is A. Now, this is addition of two vectors of same magnitude, and this is subtraction of two vectors of same magnitude. So that's such a straightforward one. So the first part is going to give me 2a cos omega t by 2, and the second part is going to give me root 3, 2a sine omega t by 2. And then a slight amount of calculation, even putting omega equals to pi by 6, you would be getting 
the value of time for this equation to be valid as 2 second. So that would be 2.00 second just complying because we need to report the answer till 2 digits after decimal. So for question number 7, the integer 1, the correct option is 2. Right then, after this straightforward question, let's move to question number 8.